complete. Uh, can't upgrade it. Yeah, I have to be able to build cruisers before I can upgrade it. I can't even build destroyers yet. Hey, we captured the Tassorgoid. Tassorgoid is an extremely lethal predator that stalks the dense jungles of From Beyond at night, paralyzing its prey with electric shocks before sucking their brains out with its tube-like mouth. This sounds like a monster right out of Dungeons & Dragons. Unfortunately, three of the crew members from the From Beyond were lost to these creatures when, before a specimen could be secured. The Museum of Exobiology on Mountain Home will rename one of its wings after these brave officers to honor their sacrifice. And we have an anomaly with a 0% failure rate. Base risk was 30, but we have a minus 30. Excellent. I love it. That sounds great. I like those odds. Okay, right, science chips. Are you guys... Okay, you're not quite done. You can finish Nyamba. And there's still some threats in some of these. I'm just looking for something with a gray name. How this over here? Do that. Oh, and I guess you can go after the critters too. That's true. So we do get a big boost of all the tech every time something like that happens. And construction ships. So where's the one? this one over here? Oh, someone's already working it. Let's say with the three energy. All right, where are you now? You're here. Okay, so I'll keep you out of this end of space. That's going to be okay. Start with the mining station. And then we'll come back to you after that. Energy deficit is growing at minus seven. That's true. What I should definitely do is hold off on any more science construction. And just focus on the energy sites. But that's what's going to happen here. And that's what's happening over here. I mean, the energy one's not, or the mineral one's not bad too, but that three energy is good. We'll pick up after that. You're adjacent to Nolion, so we'll go and do that next. Weir's got a three as well, which is quite good. Two there. Yeah, so we're going to be fine. Organic remains. The ancient frozen remains of an of almost a thousand aliens. This reminds me of the alien movie. Have been found in the vicinity of Alvira 1. They came from over a dozen different species, and preliminary dating puts the corpses at roughly 600,000 years. Around the same time as the cyberic machine consciousness ravaged this part of the galaxy. Issue special project organic Situation remains. Updated. Construction okay. Complete. Oh, it'll be another artifact. We need a level five scientist. Okay, so we're going to wait for our science, uh, one of our ships to get done, and then we'll go and send them out. That's okay. Finish your production queue. Good. We've got lots of minerals. Mineral rate is really good. And we still have like lots of uh, sites like this. We just cleared that tile to build a. Oh, you're still the level one base here. All right, that's okay. Just build a basic power plant there. You are going to work that power plant once it comes in. And soon we'll be able to expand you, get another thingy. Yes, a thingy. Our non-aggression plant over here just ran out. That's interesting. Uh, mineral processing plant would be excellent. It's more money, but that's okay. Yeah, so if I try to get you to work this. Stellar Culture Shock minus 30, Enslaved minus 33%. Oh, wait. Oh, so Culture Shock affects mining rates. But not here. You're still Culture Shocked, aren't you? No, you're not. Ah, but these guys are going to be Culture Shocked forever. I think we're gonna move someone over. Mountain Home, you're complete. still well. You're not quite full. But yeah, I'm. Oh, you're not. I suspect you're not big enough. I probably can't. No, I can't. You also need a reassembled ship shelter, which I'm gonna put here. Start on that, and then we'll upgrade you after, because then we can move people around, and that'll be good. Constructions are done, ships are idle, you over here can go there. It's a lot of minerals, but that's okay. And you over here will go to here, and build me another mining station for a little bit more energy. And my science ships, you are going to check out the organic remains, because you're a level 5 dude, yep. And oh, you are level 5 as well. Well, I'll tell you what, you can go and pick up the Vile Orinthi as part of our species gathering project. All right. I can move the other Arctic slaves over. Oh, that's true. I mean, no matter what, I do need the base here, but 
I mean, we, there's a limit to how many slaves we need because the slaves can't work a lot of these tiles and be productive. They can work the food, and I think they'll work the minerals, although apparently not while they're culture shocked. So, for example, in this system, we only might want exactly four pops of the slave population just to work the farms, and that's it. So we might have to do a little bit of purging, a little population control, and we'll see. There's our fusion reactor, and I think I'm going to unlock assist research because we are going to run out of things to do with our science ships. We might even consider disbanding them to save money, but at the very least, that'll give them something else that they can do. Speaking of science ships, you can... Here, there's a system, and actually, uh, oh yeah, you can't, you can't right-click the thing there for debris. I guess because there's multiple sources of debris. You have to manually get them to do the debris, and then you say, survey the system, please and thank you. I actually might want to build a little outpost there. We do have a lot of influence. We're not doing a whole lot with it. We still have that other uh, influence project running. You two fleets are going to merge up. And I think... Uh, oh, yeah, no, hold on. I've got to design my ships and then upgrade, and then we're going to send them out to hunt stuff. So we still just have level 1 weapons. We do have level 2 shields. And then we need level 2 reactors to pay for the energy. If I do that... No, that's still 10, so I can't take it away and replace it with armor, which is what I was thinking about, but I can't. So I guess we'll do that, and then that. It's a little cheaper. We Oh, we do have level 2 engines, which takes extra energy. Okay. Alright, there we go. So... There. So we'll be at plus two in the end, but we got faster engines, somewhat more shields on the flatline uh, 793 design. So I'm going to tell my fleet over here to just do a big upgrade. It's going to take 243 minerals. We haven't upgraded them ever. Like, they don't have the new scanners, the new engines, now the new shields and reactors. So they're going to be a fair bit better. 643. I suspect we may hit about 700. Hadricus is still un, um, uh, unsurveyed. Oh yeah, right over there because it's got a crystalline entity. And it was the bad one, I think. I think that's the one with, like, the, the higher level entities. So that's why we couldn't survey it. Zoblar, this not used to be... These guys have definitely pushed out their borders a little bit. Yeah, I really want to clear out Yinin, and I'm hoping that it's a place that's good for us, and we'll want to settle a forward base there. And actually, that should probably push our borders back to re-grab that as well, which would be nice. You have an idler over here, which is fine. So you don't work science. You suck at science. Go there. Um, oh, and then upgrade. Oh, you don't have five pops. Soon. No, well, not as soon as I thought. All right, clear that out. That's going to be okay. Oh, shit. These guys just joined the Star Concord. With the Julian Dominion and the Vagoros United Stars. The Julian Dominion are pretty much dead. The sign... How do they feel about me? They're in a war. Against the Vlurt block, 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 which has gone on forever. They like me enough. They don't like the Annex Primitives, but that's going away. The new contact's still going away. They like the slavery policy. They like our mutual rivals. I think I have to form an alliance with them against the other power block that's formed up over here. Okay, good to know construction vessel so it's basically everything on this side this has got to be uh, scanned as well you are on passive good I'm gonna send you over here hook up some more energy for me although we're running a, a surplus now which is nice what do we have here oh space cows that's fine we might still want to blow them up and check their debris out at some point but for now we're okay some minerals but not we're not floating a ton of minerals which is good we secured the Orinthi the small rodent-like creatures known as Orinthi are native to uh, Arctic Hobo, where their habitat extends across most of the diverse climate region. Interesting. They breed at an extremely rapid rate and seem to have a particular fondness for chewing on electric cables. Procuring specimens was not a problem. In fact, after the initial creatures were collected, more of them made their way onto the Arctic Hobo by hitching rides on the science ship's orbital shuttles. Oh, they've... Arctic Hobo is the name of my ship, although it's possible that it happens to also be the name of a planet, but it's not, no. That's just a... a, a this is the second typo in this event chain. Um, exactly why the Museum of Exobiology requested the Orinthi specimen remains a mystery, but they'll give us another 250 society research, which is awesome. 
You. Oh, you're right. That's why we can't scan it yet, because there's hostiles. There's hostiles and hostiles, but this is already being scanned over here. Special project complete. I don't I think our science ships might just be idle right now until we clear out a few more hostile systems. I may still be missing something. But I think all the gray names I can see have critters in them. So unless I ask for access rights somewhere, just for the lulls, I think that's that. So, I'm going to go and tell you. Oh, I've got two idle ones. Oh, right over here. You can special project that. And there's another one over there. Okay. That's the other thing to check. The special projects. All right. Um, the dead aliens found above Alvira 1 all died from vacuum exposure. With each individual had the barcode of the Cybrex were known to laser onto the skin of organic captives. It seems like the Cybrex executed these aliens by spacing them perhaps after having finished interrogations, or to keep them from escaping during some sort of rescue operation. We may never know the truth. It's going to give us 90 engineering research, and yet another Cybrek artifact. I'm burning through them quite quickly, but we're sort of running out of places to find new ones. Construction complete. Research complete. Tundra world colonization. There we go. Now we spam out colony ships. Still going to skip the regenerative hull tissue, I think. I think the border range is what we want here. Army upkeep doesn't really matter. That's just army upkeep, which we don't have that much of. Um, although I suppose we can even disband our current army to save some money. I probably should have done that. Military academy makes your armies build faster and be stronger. Naval capacity. I can deal without this for now. Right now, our naval capacity could be boosted by building more space bases. I like the border range. We're going to do that. It's worth noting that card did not stay in the list. I think the only things that stay in the list forever are the ones that you have uh, scouted debris for. Because that's just one of my three normal cards, is what it looks like. How much are we paying on army maintenance? Holy shit, that's expensive! We don't need it, right? No! Disband! We don't have any attachments to this yet, do we? Oh, we do. Should have done that ages ago. Didn't realize they were so goddamn expensive. Wow. Radio signals. Our detection instruments have, for the first time, picked up radio signals emanating from Varl Guatz. The industrialized alien civilization that lives on this world have evidently started experimenting with wireless transmissions. Elsewhere on the planet, reports have come in detailing the launch of their first primitive aircraft. In accordance to our models, their technological progress continues to advance at a rapid pace. Ah. So... Where the hell's the system? No, oh, these guys have not entered the machine age. Holy crap. They're really coming along. Well, that's okay. When they get really close to entering space, then that's when we'll go and just invade them. It'd be less culture shock if they got there on their own. Meanwhile, we may as well just keep sucking the brains out of them. That's probably what we should have done for the other guys, too. Uh, analyze the debris. Red laser progress. Ah, oh, it's the first time we've seen that. And some physics research. And we're still busy. Okay. Enslaved infiltration. It's too early for that. Construction complete. Fleet upgrade complete. Oh, wow! I thought we'd get up to 700. We're at like 650. We actually went all the way to 850. All right, time to bust some space amoebas here. This thing is in our way. So that's first priority. Then we're going to take care of those critters. Well... Yeah, no, the space amoeba keeps getting in our way. It'll be a lot better. And then, actually, we should probably clear out this mining station. Right, because that's not a true threat over here. So we want to take care of that next. We now have 14 slaves.
Never upgraded the combat rolls. Oh, thank you. Degree analyzed. That's right. That's right over here. I like the more fire rate. All right. So we'll give him a. After we finish this, we'll give him another upgrade. Debris analyzed. Mining drone laser. Mining drone laser is kind of sketchy. It does do more damage than the lasers you start with, but it's really energy intensive, and therefore I'm not sure if it's worth it. But maybe it ignores certain things. You finished hooking up more energy. Lovely. Why don't you go and mine here for more minerals and more energy? Actually, we have enough minerals. We could probably do a round of upgrading of some stuff. Like that. And over here, we're going to get some science running. Hostile fleet engaged. Hostile fleet, so that's the amoebas. Which should go, okay. Again, they're weirdly... Oh, it's because they, they never evade. We evade like 70% of the shots and they never evade anyone. That's why it's such a one-sided battle all the time. Okay, then you're going to go to this system. Then we can go and check out the debris. Tundra World. Ah, yes, 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 yes. We can start the colonization. So we've got a bunch of these yellow ones. These are 60%, which is fine. 60% means we don't get an unhappiness from it. Uh, that's really where I should be spending my mi um, minerals right now. Colony ship. Do I have another? No, I don't have another spaceport. I really should get another one right now, and I think it's probably worth investing in a second one. So Falafel Waffle, you're going to get one. And then as we start spamming out these Tundra colonies, we will have to go and create a bunch of sectors. Why not upgrade all the ship engines and scanners like science ships? Uh, yeah, which is usually the idea. Uh, it's not a huge priority. So it's not something to stress about, but it is something that I would want to do ultimately. But right now, right now the extra sensors doesn't really give them anything. And the engine speed would help out a little bit, but hardly any. So it's okay. Idle construction ship here. A lot more energy done. Special project complete. Uh, just move there. We don't have the resources for it. After an extensive search of the seabed. So that was a tip from BioWolfless. Sorry I missed the whole stream, but I must ask, does Space Dwarf are crazy for gold as common dwarves. Um, space dwarves, they want some more exotic materials than just gold. They want bitherium gas for some reason. I don't know, I think it makes them talk funny. <laughs> Thanks, Biowolfus. Uh, Northwest is expanding, you're about to lose two, sp two spots, are we? Oh, look at that. Shit. That's true. Alright, lift waffle. Come over here. Clear that space. That's actually your priority. We are scanning here. Well, I will be able to grab that, but yeah, Alcor is going to be a bit out of reach, and this one might be as well. On the other hand, um, I can actually still colonize this planet here, and that'll push out the borders. I think we'll be okay. Okay, Tar Black. After an extensive search of the seabed on Salvis 23. Again, it keeps using the ship name. Uh, using a small fleet of submarines, the crew of the Salvus 23 finally managed to corner the elusive target of their search, a live Talbuk. The shimmering creature which defends itself by emitting faint psionic signals that produce a sense of dread in most organics was brought aboard the science ship in a special water tank simulating its natural environment. The crew members on the Salvus 23 that had come into direct contact with the Tarback require extensive therapy, but the mission has been a success. Yeah, like PTSD. Actually, where are you located right now? Let's, you finish this, and then I'll send you to the other place. Actually, I should have you repair and then go over there. Because you've definitely taken a few scratches. This is going to be one-sided stomp. Like the cruisers in the back here. Does it have... Excellent! Does it have... Fighters? I noticed it had a utility slot for a hangar. Oh! So it changed! It changed! The lowercase row, class cruiser! It's not all stupid like it was, and it actually does have a scout wing. Okay. That was weird. Maybe we just looked at it too quick and it hadn't, like, sorted itself out yet. That's possible. You are fully explored. Good. And yeah, those went into that border, but we'll be able to push that out and probably retake that. We'll see how it goes. Construction ship. Uh, well, first of all, Yeah, you. Anomaly. Go do it. Thank you. 
you are done here. Uh, you can go all the way over here and survey that. And you can survey this one over here. Excellent. You're building that, you're building the colony ship. So we're going to colonize this and that. And that'll give us some border pushback. We'll be okay. In fact, I will go and queue up a second colony ship right away. Bum, 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 bum. Garfi, thanks for the sub. Let's have a little bit more of this sour beer. <gasps> Kashab died! Oh no, I'm so sorry. I mean, of old age, which is the best possible way to die, I guess. Uh, wow. All right, who do you have? Oh, 10% increased chance to discover anomalies. I like it. I mean, there's not a whole lot of anomalies left to discover, but it's there. There we go, do that. Which actually, I guess I should not do any surveying with the other ship. Yeah, so you just move to here. Uh, Gnome Sang is going to do the anomalies, because they're level 5, but they won't find them. We'll let someone else find them. Abandoned amusement park, 250 and 290 research. Holy crap, that's really great. And... You are still building your colony ships, excellent. And construction ships, you've got stuff to do here. We do need more science, but no, we're going to keep going with the mining stations for now. Uh, we're doing fine on energy, although we'll use a whole bunch of it on our colonies. But more minerals is always good. We got a good science boost. We're going to go and backfill our mineral needs again. And then we'll go back to building mining stations. I'm happy about that. Oh, people are typing F. <sighs> Poor guy. Served us really well. There's our first colony ship. Excellent. I'm actually going to grab, even though it's slightly less good, I'm going to grab this planet first. I'm sorry, is that a size 25? Holy shit! What a great freaking system! Okay, colonize. Um, this is Tundra. One second here. Tundra with Space Dwarfs. Yeah, no, it's good. Okay. If you have more multiple races, it'll tell you what the stats are for each one. So... This would give us the best adjacency to three places that are relevant, but would eat that energy. And it's only one energy, I guess, in exchange for three bonus things. On the other hand, I think I go here. This tile itself doesn't have a bonus, but it good three energy and doesn't eat anything. I could go here, but no. No, I like this. This is a good spot right here. Excellent. Oh, is that the launch pad? Colony ship is the launch pad. Excellent. I see launch pad uh, tomorrow. IRL. Gnome Sen, you hang out there. Nerd Wonder. And you're just going to go hang out around um, our planet and maybe give a 5% research boost. That's still the other thing I have to do, is is get the planets to get their research buildings research in position. Complete. Research for Ceramo Metal Armor. Level 2 armor done. Whoo. Okay. Engineering is our low lowest research. We might still get some, but I'm going to start working on the engineering research thing. Uh, the, the building upgrade. Then we still need the basic stuff, but we'll get there. So you're done your research. Finish your orders. You've got surface construction queue, which we like, need to look at again. Finish the mining station. Research complete. Oh, you can do the energy station as well. Galactic ambitions. 20% more border range. Booyah! We could allow the Xenos to have leadership roles, but I don't think we're going to care about that. Oh, the sinkholes. These are important blockers for us to get rid of. So let's take a look at what that did for our borders. It pushed this... Uh, all right, super piece over here at Taramba. 
We've got this, which we might have gotten from Taramba, or it might be part of the push. They, they push out a little bit over time. Oh, Nyamba fell into their territory at some point. Oh, that's a little bit annoying. Well, it'll be interesting to see how our borders change over time. So once the Super Peace finishes um, becoming a colony, then um, we will have to start doing sectors. Oh, excellent! You're you're embassying me. Okay, you've got a this war with the Volert Balak is never ending. I don't understand what's going on here. These guys are advanced. How could they not win? I don't think they're fighting. They're just staring at each other. Because I want these guys to peace out so we can ally up. We're losing some stuff because of things. And you're just in orbit over there. And Salvis is the one that is supposed to be just sitting idle. Because over here, the Arctic Hobo, which is being piloted by Kruyan, who is meticulous, is hopefully going to find us some anomalies to check out. And there was no more... Oh, there's some debris. Hold on. Idle science ships. You can go there. And you can go there. You guys are fully repaired and ready to go. So now that this is in our borders, we're going to go and beat up these guys. Uh, hold on. You've got the computers. And we did get the new armor as well. I mean, it's not like the aliens are using uh, shield piercing weapons, so I think it's actually going to be fine. Alright, go over there. At least, I don't think they are. Maybe they are. Construction ship is idle. Lots of minerals over here. So get started on that. We are losing money, but again, it's just the super peace thing. Although, we are building another colony ship at the same time, so our money's going to tank pretty hard. Why don't you come build a mining station over here, and then there, for more and more and more energy. Thanks, that'd be swell. Nyamba's very close. Okay. Why not colonize the planets in the Landis system? It seems more habitable. Well, let's see what you're talking about. Oh, well, this one's green, yeah. Uh, but my interest is to push out my borders. I, I want to colonize it. But my early priorities is often pushing out borders. Like, I'll probably go grab Urum before land is. Because it will secure these borders better. And then we'll go and backfill. Much, much, much better. Surplus of minerals and fleet size. Yeah, we could build that. Although I'd probably be more interested in doing a pass on my planets here again. Like, making sure that you have a basic science lab ready to go there. And you can get your food upgraded. And this could be a science lab. And this can be a mine. Actually, better yet, it could be a mineral processing plant. Very nice. Alex Steiner, so you can upgrade to an actual planetary thing, which is great. Uh, why are you so poor? Are you... This pop is no longer collectivist. As a result, they have minus 7% to their happiness because of slavery. And they are officially unhappy because they're currently sitting at 45%. Oh, so I guess unhappiness starts at 50%. Not 40. Interesting. So they're unhappy, so they're doing 10% less. Because they do not approve of slavery. The chat already knows where I'm going. Already know where I'm going. Yes, that ethics drift. I'm sorry, you're going to be purged. Luckily, no one else cares. We could enslave them. Actually, that's probably better. I got minus 10% empire. It doesn't make sense. Oh, well, you are, you are running the wrong thing. So I'm going to move you to work the mine instead. My empire?
empire wide's making 10% less money? Why is my empire wide making 10% less money? I want the drone thing on. Could have turned it off, but now's the time to go and hunt that. Let me blow up these ships. That should be fine. We'll take care of this first group and then we'll go and send our ship home. Actually, that's right. So I need to double click, go to passive. 